Hello everybody and welcome to the C programming language tutorial series. In this video we're going to be setting up our build environment. Uh, we're going to be doing this on Windows but it will also be able to apply to Linux, more specifically Ubuntu, because we're going to be using Ubuntu on Windows to manage everything. So first, why are we setting up first before jumping into code? And the reason for that is a lot of tutorials don't really focus on setting up the environment. And I think that's a bit of a mistake, because if you don't have a good environment set up to work with, you're kind of setting yourself up to fail. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a little environment here, and it'll pretty much work the same on Linux, the only difference being um, you, you'll probably use a different editor or something like that, but that's really your personal preference. So for code editing, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code for the text editor. Uh, download link will be in the description down below for that. And like I said, for building, we're going to be using Ubuntu on Windows. So the first thing you're going to need to do is enable WSL. So WSL is a newer feature that was introduced late into 2017 into Windows. And it's called Windows Subsystem for Linux. So it basically allows you to run Linux distros on Windows natively. So to enable that, you're going to need to go to Windows Features, turn Windows Features on and off. And you're going to need to scroll down until you find... Uh, where is it here? Windows Subsystem for Linux. When you tick that and hit OK, it's going to bring up a dialog box and it's going to require you to restart your computer to use it. So I've already done that for the tutorial's sake. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and search for something like Ubuntu. And it'll likely just search for it directly in the store here. You can just click on that. When you open it, it'll say that it's installing and uh, so we've just got to let this take a few minutes to finish setting Ubuntu up and then we'll be good to go. So when the installation is finished it's going to ask you for a Unix username so I'm just going to enter my handle and it'll ask you for a password too so you can just type that in. So we're going to want to run a few commands before we get right into uh, writing C and installing the compilers just to make sure that everything's up to date. So we can do sudo apt-get minus y update to um, update our repositories. Okay, so now we can go ahead and upgrade our packages by using sudo apt-get minus y upgrade. Okay. So now we've gotten all of our packages updated and stuff like that, so we're good to go ahead and install the tools necessary to uh, start compiling C. So the compiler that we're going to use to compile C is called GCC. But if we go ahead and run that right now, you can see that's, uh, that's not found. And the reason is we don't have the proper packages installed to be able to run it. So in order to get going with building C, we're going to have to install a package called build essential. So we'll do sudo apt-get install build essential. And then when that's finished, we'll have everything we need. And uh, so as you can see, it does use a little bit of disk space, 160 megabytes. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you'll probably have enough space for that. So you can just hit Y to continue. And then as soon as this is done, we can go ahead and start compiling. So now that Build Essential is finished installing, we now have the compiler to be able to compile C files. So as you can see, when we type in GCC, it says fatal error, no input files. So in this video, we're not going to get into writing C just yet. I just wanted this video to be setting up the build environment. I wanted to get that out of the way, but I will show you a little bit of C code just to show you that the compiler that we've set up works. So I'm just going to go ahead and write a little Hello World program just to show you that the compiler works. Okay, so now that we have a source file, you can see it right here. This is basically just a hello world. So I'm not going to go ahead and break everything down just yet. I'll do that in the next video. But all you need to understand is basically what this program does is it just prints hello world to the terminal and that's all it's going to do. So first I just need to CD into my working directory. So let me just see where I am first. So Okay, so here's a little bit of a note with WSL. And 
So Microsoft really doesn't want you to edit files that are in Linux subsystem outside of the Linux subsystem. So basically the way this works is in Bash in this uh, Ubuntu uh, instance we're running, it's using a Linux file system. But we can't like we can access that file system from the file explorer down here if we go into app data but it can cause corruption and a bunch of issues if we try to edit those files from Windows so we're just not even going to bother so a way we can get around that is by CDing into the mount directory and from here we can see we have access to all of our drives so we can basically exit the Linux subsystem that has like the home drive uh, the home directory and all that stuff and we can just CD back into um, where the drives are mounted on Windows so we can go C slash um, users my name and then documentation or sorry documents and I think I have my folder in here okay I just needed to quickly move the file around because it was having issues so yeah we've cd'd into your user directory and I've set up my files in documents slash yt so if I go ahead and ls, you can see the hello-world.c source file here, and that is the same file as what I have opened up in Visual Studio Code. So we can now compile that file with GCC. So GCC is a fairly easy compiler to use, but there's a lot of different options you can use with it. We're not going to cover those in this video because we're going to keep it really basic. Um, I just want to show you basically that this code does compile and that we have the work environment set up properly. So we can do GCC and we'll do hello-world.c minus o hw. hw is just short for hello world. So breaking this command down a little bit, hello-world.c is our source file. Minus o is basically the output option, so it's basically saying um, output the compiled uh, source code to this file right here. So if we go ahead and ls again, you can see our source file, like it was there before, but there's this new hw file, and that's our executable. So if we go ahead and just do dot slash hw, it'll print out hello world to the console. Pretty neat. Uh, pretty simple program, but we will get more in depth in the next video. But like I said, uh, in this video, I just wanted to set up the work environment. So we now have Visual Studio Code that we're using for our code editor. We're using Ubuntu on Windows via WSL for building and stuff like that and where this is kind of cool from a tutorial aspect is if you're an Ubuntu user and you don't use Windows you can follow this tutorial pretty easily you just you can just skip the steps for setting up Ubuntu on Windows you just do these steps inside of Ubuntu directly I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial I've also started a patreon uh, if you want to take a look at that and if you'd like to donate, you can take a look at the description down below and I will see you guys in the next video.